mean? I'm like, guys, come on, please. Uh, but Ken is not on the screen, and so we have two wonderful top tier characters. Oh, no. You know what I just realized? What do we got? So this is Super Dan Y, though, but yeah. Super Dan hates Game & Watch. I mean, who doesn't, right? I mean, yeah, but he <laughs> hates Game & Watch. So, fun fact about Super Dan, I think this is actually his last tournament, right? I think so. Yeah. Uh, he said Frosty's was his last tournament, but I think he... Yeah, at, at Frosty's, he told me that he was coming to the next night. Okay, so maybe he'll be on a mini hiatus, but regardless, we'll see how this ends up. That might be dead. Yep, yep, the DI mix up. Yep, good stuff. Uh, Super Dan, Chicago's resident Mario, right, that isn't from Wisconsin and killing people. And that isn't you, <laughs> isn't from Wisconsin. And <laughs> yeah, people. we got him, we got him. Um, yeah, no, Super Dan, very solid uh, Mario. And honestly, Wilo's been making the ups, man. He's been moving up more and more. Yeah. And I'm ready for him to kind of take the reins of Chicago's Game of Watch. Yeah. Right? So, uh, I mean, the world doesn't have very many Marios, but Chicago is lucky enough to have two of the best, being and Super Dan and Yumu. Exactly, right? Both so, extremely good in their own right. And this is a character that you need to have practice against, because the tempo he wants to play can be so variable. Yeah. Um, it's just shown by Yumu's patient style, and Dan's kind of, I'm going to run at you Dan, and do my yeah, Dan is a lot more predictive, and Yumu is a lot more reactive. Yeah. Um, but regardless, both styles are great at any level of ultimate, I feel. So, this, um... This Game of Watch is kind of getting laddered a lot, though. I've been watching a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure what Wilo could be doing better. Maybe trying combo break with upbeat. Like, as we're seeing now, and as, as we're talking about the predictive, Dan is instead, like, he's not, he's not exactly reacting to what he's doing, but he's more so calling him out. Like, he gets a download of his opponent very quickly. Oh, yeah. And once he gets you downloaded, he's going yeah. to use his Mario frame data to the full. And he, his punish game is... So good. Exactly, right? And Mario is just a character that can kill you at any percent. Yeah. Right? As we saw in the first 30 seconds of the game, Wido already lost his stock. Exactly, right? Just that clank right there, putting back a neutral stance. Really like that. Nice punish. Down smash. This could be a stop. Nice. And the super fans are going wild. Yeah, super dance in chat. Or super fan, super yeah. dance, super fan. Yep. They're going crazy in chat. Um, yeah, great stuff to Dan. Um, adjusting some wires. Not sure what's going on, but um, yeah. Probably something got tangled is what I'm guessing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, really confident stuff from uh, Dan. I think it's kind of weird to see him play in one of his like last ladder tournaments because yeah. I mean this is a guy that has been ranked in Chicago for the past this six years. This guy has so been years. ranked in Chicago longer than I've been born. Exactly, so. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, six so. years is a long time, right? Yeah. So, like I'm only four. Exactly, but we love seeing him play. And honestly, he's like, He's classic Chicago. This is Chicago Smash. This is Super Dan's Mario. This is what you expect to see. You have seen for the past five or so years. Yeah. Right? So really great stuff to him. We're going to game two. See if Wido can make some adjustments. Um, back to the same stage, but we're still getting comboed, right? Yeah. So on the topic of this music, um, we were we were watching at night, and we, there were some questionable music choices. Uh, oh, yes. I know there were some questionable... About. Questionable music choices. Yeah, luckily PS2 doesn't really have any crazy. Oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh, dude! Dude, this that's gonna be That's over. what we're talking about. That's yeah. the predictive. Exactly. He read the he read the heck out of him. Exactly. This is what Dan does. He gets onto you and he kills you. It doesn't matter what song is playing. He's yeah. going to kill you at seven. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my god. So, regarding the music choices, I mean, it doesn't really matter because this set's probably gonna go over in like less than three minutes unless Wilder can bring it back. Right? Yeah. So. And I don't know, it looks like he's a little bit flustered, maybe, by like what's going on. Um, because this is like a really strong player, right? This is somebody who's not experienced. But you can't crumble against these good players, you gotta hold your position. Maybe Y though needs to pull, maybe Y though needs to pull the class game counter pick him with the, uh, the the 75M. Oh my god. Like goodness. people were doing like two weeks ago. God, that was such a so bad song. mean. A evil song. So mean. But, oh, great recovery coming out. Almost a trump, but he buffered a roll. Really great stuff. That Nair got spot dodged? What? You don't see that often. Oh, oh, that's the predictive style. Exactly. He, exactly. he calls you out and he exactly. just blows you up. Nah, Super Dan is on fire right now. Pun absolutely intended. Super Dan wants, I mean, he wants to go out with a bang. Yeah. Why though, finally getting some damage going, but he resets the neutral so quickly. Not really sure if that's the right play. Oh, uh, maybe a greedy nine? Oh, God. Yeah. I think what Why though needs to do right now is just play the, I mean, Game & Watch is one of those characters that Unlike, like a lot, a lot of characters are pretty good at whip punishing. Game and Watch has no whip punishing options at all, almost. Besides dash attack and dash grab. Yeah, so that's about it, really. Yeah. Oh so my god. This oh matchup, god. This matchup, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but you you can't really play exactly how a lot of people play against Mario, which is stuffing him out, whip punishing him, stuff like that. Okay, great chair coming out. Um, 
yeah, yeah. You gotta play really smart with shield, especially because Mario has a great grab game. But you have that threat of that up B, and that up is gonna be super helpful. Aww. Could be a punish. Okay, forward smash. Up B there? No. No. You see Dan's positioning is just so powerful. Like, he knows where he has to be at all times. Yeah. The scary thing is a lot of Mario's aerials, I think, oh, yeah. there's, yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Uh, a lot of Mario's aerials are all super safe. I think his up air is like minus two or three. His bear exactly. is like minus two. Yeah, exactly. His stuff is so great. And even though Game Watch can up B it if Mario pushes another button, you've got to be playing the game and get in that zone first. Otherwise, yeah. Super Dan's just going to throw there out that There is one smash. issue, though. So since shield is frame one, mm -hmm. you can, like, I, I guess up air or bear, whatever the minus two aerial is, mm -hmm. you can just do that buffer shield. And if Game Watch uppies, you can jump you up and up. punish him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, the frame data comes really in clutch right there, but that has to be done really well, like perfect fastball, you, you do have to perfect, perfect landing, landing but, yeah. which Dan is already professional enough.